Yo! <laughs> Yo, what's up? All right, so I came up with this idea that I want to get on video and two cents does not know what I'm about to do, but what we are going to do, and he's sitting right there on the couch, shout out to two cents. Um, I am going to do this thing called a movie title generator. It's a random title. What we're going to do is I'm going to click on it. The first thing that comes up is we have to use that title and we're going to make a short five minute film using just this house with that All right. title. So let's see. Okay. So standing in front of salvation. Uh, what about laying is that it? All right. We got one hour standing in front of salvation is the name of our short film. You ready? Cleaning the house is going to be a part of this process. Good? Yep. Good? Yep. One hour. One hour. Fuck. Cover the lens. Yeah. All right. We just finished uh, somewhat of a storyline. We're going to start cleaning this house and start filming it, start shooting it. Uh, we, we came up with it in about 20 minutes. 20 minutes. We had a couple different stories, but now we ended up sticking to this one, which is really good. Uh, again, the title is called Standing in Front of Salvation. So we only have this house to do this whole short film. And yeah, bitch. And that's a wrap. Is it recording? That's a wrap. One Room Challenge with me and Ale. Two Cents played the actor. One hour. Our phrase was Standing in Front of Salvation. And hopefully you guys like what we made in an hour. Subscribe to In House, Strictly In House, S Dads Podcast, Two Cents Productions, Concept XV. Follow all of us. You're gonna see more of this one room challenges. It's because we just need to get up sometimes and do shit. You know what I mean? So yeah, shout out to Two Cents. We did this quick, and now he has to go. But you'll see it. You be me. You be me. And soon you will find that the so-called outside world and the so-called inside world come together. They are a happening. Now in this process, another thing that is happening that is very important is that you're breathing. And as you start meditation, you allow your breath to run just as it wills. In other words, don't do at first any breathing exercise, but just watch your breath breathing the way it wants to breathe. And then notice a curious thing about this. You say in the ordinary way, I breathe, because you feel that breathing is something that you are doing voluntarily just in the same way as you might be walking or talking. But you will also notice that when you are not thinking about breathing, your breathing goes on just the same. So the curious thing about breath is that it can be looked at both as a voluntary and an involuntary action. You can feel on the one hand, I am doing it, and on the other hand, it is happening to me. And that is why breathing is a most important part of meditation, because it is going to show you, as you become aware of your breath, that the hard and fast division that we make between what we do on the one hand and what happens to us on the other is arbitrary. So that as you watch your breathing, you will become aware that both the voluntary and the involuntary aspects of your experience are all one happening. Now that may at first seem a little scary because you may think, well, am I just the puppet of a happening, the mere passive witness of something that's going on completely beyond my control? Or on the other hand, am I really doing everything that's going along. Well, if I were, I should be God. And that would be very embarrassing because I would be in charge of everything. That would be a terribly responsible position. The truth of the matter, as you will see it, is that both things are true. 
you can see it that everything is happening to you and on the other hand you're doing everything for example it's your eyes that are turning the sun into light it's the nerve ends in your skin that are turning electric vibrations in the air into heat and temperature it's your eardrums that are turning vibrations in the air into sound and in that way you are creating the world but when we're not talking about it, when we're not philosoph philosophizing about it, then there is just this happening, this... Uh, and we won't give it a name. Now then, when you breathe for a while, just letting it happen, and not forcing it in any way, you will discover a curious thing that without making any effort you can breathe more and more deeply in other words supposing you simply are breathing out and breathing out is important because it's the breath of relaxation as when we say and heave a sigh of relief so when you are breathing out you get the sensation that your breath is falling out dropping 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 out with the same sort of feeling you have as if you were settling down into an extremely comfortable bed and you just get as heavy as possible and look like a bed and look like a bed and when it's suddenly comfortably out it feels like coming back in you don't pull it back in you let it fall back in letting your lungs expand 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 until they feel very comfortably full and you wait a moment and let it stay there and then once again you let it fall out and so in this way you will discover that your breath gets quite naturally easier and easier and slower and slower and more and more powerful so that with these various aids listening to sound listening to your own interior feelings and thoughts just as if they were something going on not something you're doing but just happening and watching your breath as a happening that is neither voluntary nor involuntary you are simply aware of these basic sensations don't worry about the future don't worry about what progress you're making. Just be entirely content to be aware of what is.